Gee, that's high. That's really high. How far's it gone? Too far. Gee, it was up in the sky for a long, long time. The hang time, amazing. Oh. Wow, this is what a Freddy can do. He's such a dangerous player to have coming in at this stage of a match. And he got underneath it. Good swing of the bat. But look how high it's gone. It had snow on it. And that southerly breeze just kept pushing it further and further away. Oh, and he gets that one as well. Didn't quite get the gap. New Zealand cut that off. Jamie Howe. Wow, I have to say, it did come out of the middle. Just got unbelievable height on it. Still went a long way. Just for a second, Martin Guptill bottom of pitcher thought he was a chance of catching that was lining it up and then the wind pushed it into the Hadley stand so New Zealand bowlers under pressure Freedy 13 off six he's underway Pakistan skipper oh he's got this well enough he's hit a gap and he's hit a spectator that's massive Look out, look out. This is a massive blow. That is the biggest part of this ground. Would be all of, I reckon, at least 85, 90 metres to that very corner. Afridi had to wait. It was so slow. Look how long he had to wait. And then just swatted it. Oh, massive blow. Oh, oh that's dangerous. Things aren't too good when that happens, and Afridi cops it, fortunately, in the shoulder. That's nasty. And give Jacob Oram the benefit of the doubt here that slipped, and they make up very quickly. Yeah, they do. Lucky it was only 128k, not 158. Oram trying to bowl the Yorker. Oh, that's nasty. Really nasty from a batting point of view. That height. Nearly cleaned him up. Straight away, it was called no ball. But straight away, Jacob Oren went up to Freddy and said, sorry, mate. You've just belted me for six. Stay in your crease, son. Twice. Twice. Well, that means Jacob Oren has had an official warning. He does that again, he's out. <laughs> Might, Might be a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also a no ball. So it's not a free hit no ball, but it is a no ball. Uh, that's gone over the offside. And that uh, has it carried the whole way. Just one bounce for Carnage here in this, the 46th over. Well, New Zealand all over the place here. And this time, Afridi was allowed to go over the offside. Too much width from Oram. Two full from Southey. And has this gone for six? I fear it uh, has gone very close anyway. Yes, it has. Tim Southey, I know he's renowned for finding the right spot, but he's bought a lot of very full deliveries today in particular. Most unlike him. Well, we talk about a Freddy, all the power. Here's a bit of finesse from the man. Really good shot. Look how far it's carried. One thing you can't afford to do at the death end is be predictable, and I think Southey's been a little bit too predictable trying to bowl that full Yorker. He's got to throw in the bouncer. He's got to change it up. Keep the batsman thinking, guessing what he's going to deliver. 18 deliveries for the last 50. Pakistan on fire. Now this time he's out. No, he's not. He's put down. Gee, Hamish Bennett, that was there. It was like picking an apple off a tree. Sally, not fast at all. Should have had a wicket. Went for four. 53, the partnership from just 19 balls. Well, another full toss. Southey trying to go full. And Hamish Bennett hasn't had a good day. It's too slow there. Got to him a little bit quicker than what he thought. And he went straight through those big mitts. Uh, big pair of hands. Just too late on it. How will that cost New Zealand? That's down the ground. And that's six. Don't even bother running for that. Flat, using the wind, using the conditions. 
So all of a sudden, Afridi gets through to 43 from just 17 balls. Oh, it's power hitting at its best from Afridi. Man, he's destructive. Haven't seen any of this this whole New Zealand tour. But what a time to come out and display what a player he is. Bennett again, bowling length, missing the Yorker. And to a quality player like Afridi, that is going to be hit for six every time. Over the top this time of point, and that's six more, a beauty into the grandstand. Oh, the versatility there, he goes to 49 off 18 balls. Oh, what a shot this is. I'll tell you what, Bennett too short, too wide again, Afridi. All the time in the world to free those arms, that's a big hit. Well, the quickest half century in one day cricket in New Zealand is off 19 balls. It's currently held by Brennan McCullum, who can only stand and admire this from behind. Uh, that's a 50 for Shahid Afridi off 19 balls, which equals the fastest ever in New Zealand cricket. It's a captain's knock. Look at that. 19 deliveries. Look at that strike rate. Explosive. Brilliant batting that's been enjoyed by all, not only the Pakistan fans, but the New Zealand fans will be enjoying this quality batting. That was the shot to bring up his 50. Brilliant stuff. Mills with the ball in his hand. And Afridi goes over the top of cover. Oh, is it four? No, I don't know if it is. Jacob Oram's done a great job down there. Touch and go where the ball was on hand, foot was on rope. I don't think he's too sure himself. No, we'll have another look at this. But a great piece of work from Oram on the slide at full pace. And it was actually past him. He's done well there. Is he still touching it? Does he actually touch the rope? Not sure he does, Smithy. I think he's done pretty well. Yeah, he's done really well. Kept it to two. Save two, which at this stage is pretty crucial. Good piece of fielding. So two from the first ball. This time it's going to be four. No one will stop that. That was absolutely middle. Small ground or not. Oh, he's gone high. He's gone wow, straight. What a shot. Oh, Mills has hardly missed here, Smithy, but he's been punished. Freed, he's got all the shots. This one along the ground, straight. Oh, it's superb batting. What a clinic it's been for all the youngsters here just to see raw power. You can get it outside 2020 cricket. You can get the pure striking in any form of the game, but this has been special. And he's got that one too over the top. And that should go to four. It does. A big, big over again for Pakistan. And now they're 287 for six with one to go. Little edge. What a catch. That is absolutely sensational piece of cricket to get rid of the danger man. Great catch, McCullum. Hasn't been the best of days, but that will feel good. And for Bennett too. Well, big wicket for New Zealand. And this time, Freedy just gets a thin inside edge. McCullum goes hard to his left, takes it in one hand. That's an outstanding catch. It's been a tough day for him. Great innings from the Pakistan skipper of Freedy. Goal for 65. Pakistan, 288 for seven. Wahab Riaz is the new player. He's got a good strike rate too. Should be able to restrict this just to the single. Wahab Riaz is going to come back. He should be out. He is out. Surely no. Bennett's dropped the ball, has he? So Riaz has got back. They get two off the last over. In fact, the last delivery of the last over. 293 for seven. And uh, Craig McMillan, 126. They scored Pakistan off the last 10 overs. Wow.
Well, Mohamed Hafiz's maiden ODI 100 was the backbone of that Pakistani innings, but it was the incredible hitting of Umar Akmal and Shahid Afridi that turned the match on its head.